everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. So last time we made a habitat for this lovely, lovely Largy bin and they are currently expecting babies. So the offspring is due September year 102. I, it's so hard to believe that this zoo has been here for 102 years almost. So I know that it, in previous videos I did say that I wanted to continue on with the zoo on this side because it is looking a little lopsided however last time when I was making the Largibin habitat I kind of built this restaurant and it inspired me to continue on with this area and I already know which animal I want to add here and based on the title you guys definitely know now too I am going to be adding the the leopard I believe the jaguar the jaguars are going to be added into my zoo I already have two beautiful jaguars here I wanted to do some more of the pack animals but those are definitely going to be coming later on as you can see I already have the hogs as well as the fossas or fossa or whatever you may call them <laughs> But I'm just so excited to do the Jaguars. I kind of already have a plan in mind. It's going to be very mountainy because I'm going to close this area off. So I'm kind of going to make this mountain look a little bit better as well as add in some more mountains over here. So they're going to be seen pretty close up as well as a lot further down and so on. So I'm very excited about this and I cannot wait to get into it. But yeah, I think there's not really much else to do now hopefully by the end of this speed build we will also have some Largiban babies that i can show you guys because i'm so excited to see some more of the little monkeys in their habitat i've been wanting to add the jaguar into this habitat for the longest time it's always been a plan so i'm so excited that we can finally do that so let us jump into to this speed build part right now.
Okay, so the habitat is now completed. This obviously is the Largibans, but I did want to show you guys that our Largiban buddies had a little baby. They only had one, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping for more than one, but I'm still gonna take the win. We have a little baby Largiban, and that, in my opinion, is a win. So hopefully, eventually, we can get a lot more of them. But for now, let me show you guys the finished habitat for the Jaguars. So so coming out of the LR given habitat over here, you will immediately start to see a lot of like mountain ranges, which is exactly what I wanted. So it's kind of closed off over here, which is perfect. And you can kind of see all of the rocks and everything. And I just love how it looks so much. But coming over here is where you can kind of start seeing the habitat a lot better. So I do have these little railings over here for safety purposes. Obviously, it's not the most realistic because this seems pretty dangerous still, in my opinion. But here you can see them kind of eating, walking around. Their feeding tray used to be up here, but the keepers couldn't reach it. So I put it back there somewhere. But they do have a few other things over here as well. But there is a waterfall over here as well leading into a very large like lake rivery thingamabob over here as you can see but this is kind of what I wanted to show you I didn't want to play before I showed you guys the jaguar on this pole thing so you can kind of see them walking over here to that area and I just loved that so much I wanted to show you guys you can also see them when you're in the restaurant sitting down and then kind of just looking outside and seeing if you can spot a jaguar or two there are currently only two jaguars in here but I feel like that's nice I mean they are probably gonna be having babies anytime but I did also add a waterfall and and there is a little mountain with some snow on it in the back. I love that so much. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna place too many rocks and stuff at the back there for performance as well as because nobody's ever gonna see it if you're just walking through the zoo. So I'm not gonna bother with that. And then coming over this way, away from the restaurant area, we also have this viewpoint over here. This obviously is like just a small little viewpoint where you can see from above a bit more. It's not like the best viewpoint because it's so small, but the only way to get to the other viewpoint is to go down this very long area over here, then do a little U-turn and go along this path over here. So what I did here was I added some shops over here so that you can buy some food and drinks if you want. However, there's nobody working at the moment, unfortunately. But I think I should probably put a staff area in this general area because currently we we don't have one that's too close for the people working over here but coming along this way is where you will start to see some more of the habitat so we have a few seating areas over here I also really love to see the restaurant like peeking out and seeing guests sitting there that's so nice but as you can see you can't see a little jaguar over there oh my gosh they're so beautiful I'm so glad I got a black one because the black ones oh look at the glare oh my goodness the black ones are a lot harder to get but I did want to add a lot of foliage but also keep it kind of open so that you can see very clearly on these areas and there is our other jaguar over there I think that's the male I'm not too sure which one of them is going to be producing the babies but <laughs> I mean they have to work together to get us babies but anyway this is the other part I really really like the mountains it did look a little bit weird when I started it off and you could only mainly see the rocks but once I added in the foliage it just looks so much nicer and I am obsessed with it and yeah so I have this little area over here where you kind of walk underneath this like trellis thing I don't know what to call it but I did add a lot of plants and stuff in this area I wanted it to be kind of overgrown just like the rest of the zoo so that it makes sense and then over here this is obviously not done I'm gonna continue on this way eventually but for now 
Look at how pretty it is. Let us go down this way. This mountain is obviously not complete, but again, I'm gonna continue with that eventually. So this is obviously where you can go to the back of the Jaguar habitat, but we're not gonna do that because this is denied access to the guests. So coming down this way is where we would find the underwater viewing area. I love how this looks. I'm so happy that I decided to work a lot more with terrain in the zoo because in previous zoos, I never actually tried this hard with terrain and it makes such a big difference. I mean, just look at the height that this all gives. It makes you feel so small and stuff. Now, they don't really swim here a lot. I didn't make it deep enough, unfortunately, for them to dive but I feel like it's still very nice when you get a glimpse of them and we also have a few shops down here as well but yeah, I absolutely love how this turned out it's one of my favorite habitats so far I did not mean to make it this big it's a lot bigger than they actually need I think they need only like 700 square meters or something and they have over 2000 square meters in here not including the climbing space or the water space coming back over this way i kind of just wanted to show you guys the mountains a little bit more because i added quite a few mountains there's like this main mountain that kind of goes all the way around here and we do obviously have the back mountain because i wanted to make it look more closed off and basically com completed what am I saying and I think I'm gonna do that around more areas around the zoo and kind of finish everything up that way because looking from the top I kind of can do that around here because if you look at this this area is obviously not as complete as it could be but it looks wonderful from over here you barely can tell that it's not done so i think i'm gonna do that as well as with this like i'm not gonna do too much over there because you're never really gonna see it much but over here i should definitely do a little bit more work so i think next time we're going to start finishing off of this area over here and then gradually start finishing off the zoo because as you can tell this area is complete like that is closed off now so now we just have to close off this area of the zoo and then everything is gonna be done I might do a little bit of work around the zoo before I do the zoo tour because we're definitely gonna be needing one of those and yeah then we will probably be done with this zoo do let me know what you guys think about this habitat however and yeah thank you all so so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and i will definitely see you all in another video goodbye everybody